Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura Gonzalez. My name is Laura. And I'm late. What else is new? I'm always late. I'm not even center on the camera. Anyway, who cares? So I feel like I'm on this side. Let me, let me move. There you go. <laughs> I welcome you to the coffee break. And today we are going to be learning the card for the weekend or learning the card of the day and having our card for the weekend. Hi, Blair. I, um, I have the Rider Way Smith, Ooh, the devil. which as you know, is my favorite deck for teaching. And since we're learning, this is what I'm going to use. And let's see what we have for this weekend. One more time, one more time. To remind you all that on the 30th, Thursday, the 30th, we're going to do our um, card for 2022. So stay tuned at 7 p.m. on December 30th. It's going to be a live here on Facebook and... Um, it's um yeah it's gonna be like a like a 30 minute um i'm lying like an hour thing 45 minutes it depends um and that is gonna be where we're gonna be discussing the end of year the card that was the card for 2021 and then the new year and whatever car whatever pair of cars come out for 2022 so I hope that picks your interest and that you join us on uh, the 30th. So today we have a 10 of swords. Oh my goodness. What is happening here? It even looks like the swords are moving. The effect with the camera is like real weird. And it looks like they're moving. Um, so trivia information. This is one of the few cards that has uh, some kind of black background on the Rider White Smith. There's four that have a black back background. The Devil, the Tower, uh, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. And am I mistaken? No. This, these are the four that have... A black background and swords are all about our thoughts and ideas, how we think about uh, things, how we sometimes ponder and, uh, you know, continue being kind of trapped on our mind. And that is kind of building up, up to the Ten of Swords. And then here you have a very dramatic scene. It's a very dramatic scene where there's a person on the ground and there are ten swords piercing that person and the background is very grim not even grim is black you know there is like total destruction but if you focus beyond the swords there is the blue um, ocean or river or a body of water and from it it looks like a sun on the horizon and with the sun on the horizon we don't know if the sun is rising or if it's setting right but there is some kind of light nonetheless even though the background is black and the forefront on the car is really grim I mean there is a person there they have a draped uh, red cloth they're red and tarot is a color of power 
is what the king, um, what the emperor wears is red, what the justice wear is red. Uh, even the magician has a red clock. Um, so red is the color of power and he's dead, right? I mean, 10 stabs on the back, I don't think he's alive. So the card is very dramatic and is very impactful, right? To the psyche, we see this and we're like, oh my God, who died or who's going to die? Um, a lot of tarot readers actually utilize this card to predict a death. I don't read in a predictive way and I don't think that is functional to tell people that somebody's going to die. I don't think we have that power to know when somebody's going to die. But I give you that information because we're in a learning setting here, you know, and a lot of people say, oh, yeah, the card of death, the actual major kind of death is not about dying. It's about evolving. But they say, but this one is about dying. I don't believe that. In all my years that I have been reading, I haven't seen that prediction of somebody dying coming through. Um, and that is about specifics, and I'm not going to go into that. But this is more about killing an idea or killing adolescent something or someone, right? Um kind of like we've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it the same way until we get to a point that is not coming to fruition, that what we're seeking is not manifesting. So as painful as it may be, we find ourselves in the need of killing that idea, stabbing that idea, and moving to a new idea. Now, of course, saying it, easy. Kill that idea, get a new idea. Doing it. <laughs> it's very taxing. There's a lot of emotion that comes from it. And sorrow and even um, mourning. You know, because we're married with our way of thinking. We have been thinking that way since forever. So we want to keep thinking about it or we want to keep thinking about things the same way always and we find ourselves between a rock and a hard place having to find a functional way to change our perspective it's not easy it's a huge challenge and that's why this card is so grim grim and then there is one uh I don't know which tarot it is or, or if it's just an artistic rendition. Uh, modern rendition of it is a person uh, laying on the ground with stabs in their back and on the bottom says, I'm okay or everything is okay. Because we're so used to say that, you know, oh yeah, everything is okay. Not everything is okay all the time. And as hard as it is to accept that sometimes we are not on our best, that we're not doing our best, that we're not feeling our best, that we are... Um, you know, bad, like f suffering or being challenged or plain and simple, having a shitty time. It happens as part of life. So that is kind of what this card represents. In a brighter note, it's a number 10. So the number 10 indicates that is we're going back to the beginning or we're, we're done with that. We're moving forward. We move into the next level, so to speak. And it is really interesting that on Monday, we had the tower indicating big changes. And then today we have the Ten of Swords, kind of like a completion of whatever transpired in your life during the week. This is saying, oh, and we are, we are almost at the end of it. And ready to start anew. Whether you think with the weekend or with Monday, it doesn't matter. But it looks like things will be moving, changing, and shifting for the better, I hope. So to everyone, uh, don't be afraid of killing all ideas that don't serve you. 
find new ones find new ones and here I didn't say better or worse just new you know we all make mistakes and it's okay to make mistakes we're human all right my loves I will see you Monday I will see you on the 30th if you have the time at 7 p.m. and I'm still doing readings online I'm still doing readings in person I have that special for uh, the 12 month reading for 2022 and until then never forget that you are loved bye bye